Yeah, so another pair of Berkshires here. And these will be uh, 32 litter Berkshires. 32.5 is one that Eric's got in the stick. 32.4 is the darker pigmented one down on the other end of the of the ring here. Um, Pedigree's Rooster, which would be boar um, there up at High Point that uh, I believe uh, Heimer owned or raised. I can't remember exactly. May Hogue, Hogue may have raised him and Heimer had him. And anyway, he's at High Point. Um, Rooster, Jet Black, Jet Black Sow. Uh, would have been uh, mother of off the chain. We would have sold premium blend here this this spring. Uh, she would raise the champion overall guild at Houston this go. Uh, reserve grand guild at Fort Worth. Um, another one that would have been reserve Burke guilt at Angelo. And then the sixth overall guilt at Hawaii. All littermates, uh, not one of them, I guess, swept the whole thing. But they were all littermates, all different pigs. Very good litter pigs. Um, she would also raise the Hunter Greenwald's pair that would have been champion Landon Lincoln at Illinois last summer. So, sow-wise, the jet black sow is, is one that uh, we don't take lightly, I guess. That one is uh, very, very potent. She's done a good job, and I think uh, she's got another pair out here uh, we like very well. Uh, we we was talking offline. The last one that came in was what, dash what? He was six. Dash. Part. We were talking offline about dash six, and then and then when you start talking about this sow that needs no introduction, that, that uh, keeps producing – uh, Rooster, you know, they went through who, who raised him, who's got him, and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't make any difference. You know you know who Rooster is. There's zero doubt about it. Uh, this right here is Dash 4 that uh, that Eric's got on the stick. Uh, he, he, he's one that in this litter. Um, he's the shortest backed one. He's the burliest one. He's the one that will be the cheapest to feed by 100 miles. And he is the one that, you know, when we talk about state fair type of pigs, you know, and we talked about his litter mate while ago having some gas and go, and they're all different. I don't look like my brother. I don't have the same shape as my brother's. Uh, one, both of them's got more hair. Uh, both of them are taller. I mean, it is what it is. This one right here is probably one that you don't need to feed, and he possibly could make it to State Fair, you know, um, in, in that regards. His back is shorter. He's wider. He's just burlier. Uh, th this litter of Berkshires, and, and when you study all of them in their tail root and their head and their skull shape and their body shape, th this set of Berkshires right here are very, very good. Uh, and, and no disrespect, Jared, but I want your honest opinion. This, this, these three Berkshires I've seen so far out of this litter, these are the best Berkshires you've sold this year. I would say they're right there. Yeah. Yep. I mean, they, they are very, very good. Um, but – um, like I said, you don't you don't need any introductions. You guys can see how good they are. The white-eared bear here is like the bear we've seen in the in the in the last one. Um, built very very good, just really really complete. Uh, shape is not going to be an issue. Feedability is not going to be an issue. Um, I, I would I would venture to say that uh, that these here are on the top ends of them Berkshires that's going to be there in July. And this dash four, uh, I, I I honestly might try him. Yeah, I think he's uh, state fair. yeah, because he probably needs pulled off the full feeder. Anyway, yeah. he's got plenty of plenty of center and, and and bulk. I think to to hold early or hold late. Um, we like that one a good deal. I guess if somebody were to text, and I probably already sent his notch to a few uh, people that have text, um, I'd say that one's going to be on the list. Yeah, sh a short list. Yeah, um, that that pig that pig's one that I I like awful well, and I think that. Uh, um, you don't you don't count them kind th them kind right there. You don't count out ever in any show. No. So, but he's versatile. Yeah. For, dash four would be versatile. I think uh, the litter mate and and then this one right here is dash uh, five. I think they're they're more uh, summertime, more July. Ju more July. Ju more July time uh, than than the, than the litter mates. And I think you said you kept a boar. We do have a, we have a we have a litter mate. We kept a we're gonna feed a boar out of this litter. Obviously for a reason. For a reason. That's right. Uh, bid with confidence on these Berkshires. Uh, uh, something that uh, that that uh, I haven't seen a lot of them very very good Berkshires this year. And I travel a lot of miles, and there's zero doubt about that. And uh, these three Berkshires that have been in here, um, depending upon what size you want them or where you're going to target for them. Uh, you're, you're not going to find a whole lot of Berkshires this square, this square chested, good skulled, good hawk. Uh, I mean, that, that dash four, his center cage is unbelievable. And their tail root absolutely looks like a California red wood. Good pigs right here on these Berkshire side.